What a match we had up next. The New Japan television champion, Zack Sabre Jr., the leader of TMDK, the mighty don't kneel, taking on all heart, Blake Christian, and boy, did he earn that moniker here. This was about a 13-minute match in a match that couldn't be longer than 15 minutes, according to the New Japan rulebook for television title defenses, and this was wrestling. This is what I want to see when I watch professional wrestling. This was just everything folks uh, match of the year hell no but match of the week possibly match of this show maybe blake christian may look like shaggy but he doesn't run from any monsters he takes them on we almost had a new television champion and for new japan pro wrestling i mean several times this guy came close to pulling it all out but zach saber jr the master of transitions the master of submissions actually calling Brian Danielson out in the middle of the match saying, hey, Brian, where you at? I'm the best technical wrestler in the world. Wow. Bold move. This harkened back to when I used to go to Philadelphia, when I used to go to Baltimore to watch those War of the World shows, New Japan versus Ring of Honor. That's what this was. And Blake Christian represented Ring of Honor as good as anybody possibly could, even though he came up just short. Zack Sabre retaining this title and getting out of Dodge pretty quickly. I don't think Zack realized what a challenge he was in for, even though their pre-match promo video package was great. The purpose of this was to get Zack Sabre Jr., the new Japan television champion, on the show. This was a new story, a new angle, all hearts stepping up to challenge for that title. The psychology of this was Ring of Honor versus New Japan, and that's always a beautiful thing, as this was in a terrific, terrific matchup. Wow, great stuff. Don't miss this one.